Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion, and today I have a new effect for you. It's a slide panel. Um, this is actually an update from one of my older effects. It allows you to take any design element and slide it in from the side, and then easily slide it back out. This was a pretty popular plugin, so I decided to update it, um, and unfortunately, I think I made it a little bit worse and better at the same time. I'll explain in just a bit. So with this update, you can slide in stuff from the left, the right, or you can also slide in from the top and the bottom. Um, with the content sliding in from the side and then the base layer can actually shift over to keep it centered in the screen where you want it to be. You can download it from my website, billjustice.com. Just click on the effect from the homepage or you can go to the effects area and find the just slide panel effect and download the DRFX file. Double click on the DRFX file and that will install it into Resolve. If you're enjoying my videos, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. I'd really love to hear from you. All right, let's start with the new and the better, and then we'll go into the what doesn't work quite as well as the original. Um, this one makes it a lot easier to add content into the panel area so that it slides in and out along with the panel. Um, it also added an option where you can slide in from the top and the bottom. Just a, a few more things for you to do with it. Okay, so what doesn't work as well? Well, it's not quite as easy to set up. You can't just drag it onto a clip and have it work. If I can figure out how to fix the plugin, I'm going to update it and make a new version. So I'm hoping maybe some of you guys have some ideas to help me fix it up. Um, let me show you what's going on. To get it to work, it's not too difficult. You just need to go into Fusion and add the effect from there, and then it will do everything that you need. Um, I am using the Resolve Beta, so maybe, maybe there's a bug or something like that. I don't know, but if you guys know how to fix it, um, let me know, I'd really love to hear from you. Okay, let's take a look at how to use this. It's a little bit more complicated than just dragging an effect on, but I think it's not gonna to be too difficult for you. Okay, we have a clip here, and we're gonna add some text in a slide panel. Let's show you how to do it. Um, we're gonna to go to Effects, and let's add a text node, and set up the text real quick. Okay, we have the text set up. Now we wanna add this into a slide panel. If you just have one text element, we just need to go into Fusion and set up the panel. If you have more elements that you wanna add, whether it's images or anything else, we're gonna create a compound clip. First, let's just do the basic one. We'll click the button at the bottom to go into Fusion. And after the effects installed, we're gonna to go to Templates, Edit, Effects. Click on the William Justice folder and find the Just Slide Panel 2 and drag this effect right into this line here. And when the line goes half yellow, half blue, you know it's gonna be connected. And there we go, we have the slide panel. So let's take a look at the different options. The panel comes in from the right and the main content is over here on the left. So let's, uh, let's get this set up first. So click on the Slide Panel node and in the inspector, we're gonna have our options here. The top option is the direction, horizontal or vertical. The second option is the content position, so we can slide the content, which is gonna be the text in this case, over into the panel and position it where we want it to be. There's an option to adjust the angle. The slide position sets how far the panel is gonna slide in, so we, are, we can slide it in from the right, or drag it back over this way and slide it in from the left. If you change the panel position, you're also gonna to wanna to change the content position, so I'm gonna drag this back over to the left right here. Now you notice that the background didn't shift the way we wanted it to, so we will just shift the background over to the right, and that's a basic setup. So here's what it would look like. And you can adjust these things, so let's say we don't want it to slide in quite as much. We'll move this over, move the content over, and adjust the background position. Okay, let's take a look at some of these other options. The, there's the border size. You can take it to zero if you don't want to see a border. There's the panel blend, which lets you set kind of an alpha, so you can see through the panel if you have more content behind it. Okay, let's, let's check out these sections below here. The shadow section is, there's a shadow on the border you can see right there. This is the blend, you can adjust the softness as well as the border color. With animation, you can set the frames in and frames out. That's how many frames it's gonna be to animate in and out. So if you want it to go faster, we can just reduce this from the default of 15 to say seven, and the panel's gonna slide in a lot faster. There's a delay. And then there's also some options to adjust the easing. Um, this is the easing on the panel in and the panel out. So maybe we want it to bounce back. We can set the option here to back. And when the panel comes in, it's gonna bounce back a little bit. Uh, slow that down so you can kind of see it. The panel color lets you set the panel color. It, it defaults to a vertical gradient. Um, you can go in and pick each of these colors to get a nice gradient kind of look. There's also a horizontal gradient, um, solid color, and you can even use the regular gradient. Uh, last option is to adjust the border color. So you could make it black, red, uh, really whatever you wanted to. So once this is set up, you can go back to the timeline and everything is ready to go. If you need to adjust it, all we need to do is go back into Fusion. So we can select the text node and click the Fusion icon. 
Click on the slide panel node and in the inspector we can make adjustments. So let's say we want this to be a vertical, go up and down. Select slide direction of vertical. First thing we want to do is adjust the slide position. Let's say we want it to come up from the bottom. And we'll adjust the background position and move that a little bit right where we want it. And we'll double click content and move it into the area where we want it. Now you'll notice that it's a little bigger than we want. There's this option for content size, which allows you to adjust the size of the overlay. And now we have the panel coming in from the bottom. Okay, let's do one more example. We're gonna do something a little more complicated because right now you notice that there's only one thing that's going into the panel. If you wanna put multiple things into the panel, you need to use a compound clip. Okay, let's add a couple text nodes and a graphic. So we'll show you how this works. So we're gonna add the first text node and set up the text. All right, let's copy it and set up another line of text. And let's put a graphic in there, a couple graphics. So we're gonna to go to the media pool. I have a couple graphics here. We'll put uh, this graphic right on top and size it down a little bit. This is similar to what I set up in the intro. Move it up, right like that. And then we'll take the resolve graphic and we'll put that down below. And size it down. Okay, so it's just a, a, just a real quick sample here. Now if the effect is in here, if you go to effects, and um, William Justice, you can take it and you can drag it onto one of these, but it won't work, and I'm gonna show you why that is in just a second. So let's undo that. See, the effect is on here, but um, there's some, uh, some display issues. So let's delete that for now. So what we need to do is, if, once you set up the content that you want in the panel, highlight all of the clips that you want, and right click and say new compound clip, and we'll call it slide one. So this is our text with image combo. Now what we can do is select this clip and go into Fusion, click Templates, Edit, Effects, William Justice, and we'll take the slide panel effect and drag it right in. And you can see that we have the slide panel starting to work. Now all we need to do is just the same thing we did before. We can take the slide panel and move this over. So we'll move it over here and adjust the slide panel position to fit that and put it back in there. And let's shrink it just a bit. And I'm gonna change the color. All of the other options work the same way. I have seen a few glitches where when you add this, the screen will kind of go black. Um, when that happens, I just stop, I shut down Resolve and restart it and that seems to fix the issue. Let's take a look at why we can't add this directly as an effect. So we're gonna put two text nodes down here. So we have test one and test two. So for test one, let's add the effect from the timeline. So we're gonna to go to the effects area, um, toolbox effects, William Justice, and we're gonna take the slide panel effect and drag it right onto text one. Everything goes black. Let's go to the inspector, click effects, and then we can click this little icon to get into fusion. And you'll see that we have an error. And I've set this up, the slide panel as a group, so if you wanna take a look at what I'm doing, you can open it up. So the problem comes in right here. In this media end node, Okay, so you'll see this red node here. It is the media in. Now what I'm using to do the sliding of the background is setting the media source to background, and that's supposed to bring in the background so it can slide it, but it doesn't work. We set the media source to timeline. It does work, but it doesn't bring in the right background. When we set media source to background, you'll see that we get an error here. So what it looks like is when we're inside, for some reason with that way I have this set up or a bug or whatever, when we're inside of the fusion effect from the effects panel, the media end does not seem to support the media source of background. Let's go to the second test and we're gonna hit fusion. I'm gonna take the same effect and just drag it right in. Now let's open this up here and you'll see that the media end right here, it's media source is set to background and it's bringing in the background and the background is what's behind right here. So this is the base clip that the text is sitting on top of. That's bring, it's bringing that background into Fusion. So the background works here, but it does not appear to work when we're in the effects area. Could be something I set up wrong, I'm not sure. Um, if anybody has any ideas, let me know and I will definitely get this uh, effect fixed up so that we can add it directly from the timeline. So remember to download the effect, all you need to do is you can go to my website, buildjustice.com, and I also put in a link in the description, you can click on that to download the effect. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, make sure that you like, subscribe, and uh, also comment below and let me know how I'm doing.